Good morning. How are you guys doing today? I, whether I put my name in here or not, is that important? But hello, good morning for you guys that are new, never seen me before, or heard from me. My name is Rick. Rick Worth. I'm a local artist down here in Key West. I don't know why I say local in front of that. I guess I'm just used to talking to people around here and not out there. But anyways, local in our town actually doesn't mean that you just live here. I've lived here for 31 years. You know, I came from somewhere else. This is dead sure my home. But anyways, <clears throat> I was just on uh, someone else's channel. That's what happens when I get up early in the morning. I kind of, you know, listen to see if anyone had anything to say to me. And then that usually gets something going. But uh, this, uh, basically, when I'm out fishing in these other places, you know, I'm always still, you know, uh, wrestling with people who are saying that, you know, the single eye is the Illuminati and uh, that this is all new age <coughs> and uh, that the chakra system is evil and stuff. But um, mostly, you know, it's this idea, you know, I go in and I hear about, you know, all you have to know is God, his name. All you have to do is believe. You know, and these guys will speak like that, and, and so, oh, thank you so much for that information, you know, and it's like, what? You know, is that all, is that all it took for you, you know? All I have to do is believe how easy it is. Well, you know, in the stories, what it is is, Jesus says things like, <clears throat> that you have to, you have to get rid of all your world of goods, you know, and of course, uh, and that's in order to follow him, you know, and of course we're going to have to learn what world of goods are and we've already been teaching what it means to follow him, to, uh, to eat his flesh and to drink his blood is a type of, it's a, it's called doing what I do, doing what I do, you know, follow after me, all right, this is in remembrance. You know, and this is, and I want you to keep this feast type of things. This is all, every bit of that is coded language. Every bit of it. We know that if you want to gain enlightenment, and that's what it is, we're going up to see her wisdom, Sarah. You know, is it Sarah? Yeah, I think it, is it Sarah? Give me a chance on that. I know that, uh, that we have Abraham and Sarai. But uh, but what we get out of this other side, this is she is where we get our wisdom. This is what connects us to God, stuff like that, and brings us all together as one. But when it comes down to having to get rid of everything that you own, you know, we're talking about lessening the burdens and uh, and. Uh, basically just making it easier so you can get over to this other side and of course if you take an outside look at that then it sounds like you have to give away all your money over to the poor and all your world all the block your belongings that you have to become poor like a monk so that you know there's nothing that's keeping you from liking or or from from taking you away from this from this lord but um you know that's it's, Totally misreading this idea of being connected with the Lord. It doesn't mean to just die, you know. And, and you know, and of course that does mean something else. But the dying, in the sense that you know, you don't have to give up all your worldly goods. This is an outside concept. And of course, we don't follow God all around on the streets out here. You know, and you don't give your your belongings to the church as this idea of people, you know, give everything to their church and then become this monk and do not, you know, live off of them. And, and they may to go out and beg their money. Not even the church helps them. Listen, the, when Jesus tells us that we have to hate our mother and father, our brothers and sisters, and ourselves before we can get over to this other side there is another way of saying that you have to give up your worldly goods and so uh, and the other one is to to do the way is to come to him as a child or you would not inherit the kingdom of 
heaven. And that, of course, is using our kundalini system. And they both go together. We have to kill the self and sacrifice it's the lamb. The blood of the lamb, which is you, has to be sacrificed. And so that's your mother and your father. Your brothers are your skin and its five senses. And your sisters are your emotions and your desires. <clears throat> Get rid of them and you're on your way. That's all that is. You don't have to give away all these things. But when they talk about richnesses in the Bible, that, you know, that uh, uh, before a rich man could ever make it in, listen, they're talking about someone who does have everything and they're not unhappy. Remember, you have to go through some tribulations in order to even find this God or even care to 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 seek him. You know, so but you know, I know a lot of rich people that just go for the face value of it, you know. But they're not they're not one of these guys. They are just way too busy to sit down and do nothing for a few minutes, kill themselves and go and visit the God, go and visit the Lord as a child. They got no time for that. That's that's what it really means to be rich on the outside and those people that are poor on the outside well poor is poor there's no there's no other way around it but poor and rich in our Bible poor is someone who is not connected to the Lord someone who is in prison is someone who is not in prison it's someone who is stuck in religion it's a prison it's a prison and they can't get out of it <clears throat> The shut-ins and all of these businesses, that don't mean anything to do with people on the outside. It has to do with what's going on on the inside. How are you treating this connection? Because it's all the Bible is talking about, this connection between you and God. That's it. There's an outside way and there's an inside way. It's one of this way or that way. There's no more, you know. So anyways, to try to settle some of the trouble is that uh, you don't need to hate your mother and your father. If you were to believe in the letter, then that kills. It kills off a beautiful relationship that you need to grow. All right. So if you really, truly thought you had to hate your mother and father, and you wanted to follow Jesus, you know, then you would make that quite apparent. You know, <laughs> apparent. And but this idea of coming as a child, no one really knows about that. But if it meant that you have to be an idiot, you know, then join up with religion still aren't going to get there you know the idiot part you'll get there but you're not going to get the rest of the way no it has to do with uh, someone who is rich someone who is who is who has this connection with God and is connect and, and maintains this connection this is uh, you know the jack and the beanstalk you know where this where the where the money is you know you know where to go to get the riches right that's all that is that's a rich man, very rich man. And you don't have to hurt or kill anybody, you know, it's all symbolic. It's all symbolic. And you go up there and get your wisdom, all right? Go up there and get your, uh, get a checkup. You know, go up and get a jiffy lube. Go up there and get your renewal license, you know, to operate with God, you know? It's, uh, this is what you do. And it's as easy as just shutting up, well, we say it's easy, but that is. It costs you nothing. That small 10% of your little conscious that we are talking out of and living out of is the only tired thing that needs to go over to this other side. And it goes through a nice little bath, a little cleansing of things, you know. And of course, you know, it, you have to want it. You know, most of us in this, in this, in the, on this channel, we're actually searching for this place or, you know, really love God in some way but we can't find it outside of us we can't find it outside of us and we're looking and looking and looking in all the many ways that it can come to us from the outside and it just ain't working because it never will work all right it only is going to satisfy the skin all right what we want to learn to do is to satisfy our soul we want to bring it into the light 
and then what our soul then does for us is uh, makes us a little healthier, higher thinking, and it also enlightens the world as well. All right, that's the thing. You know, if you want this dark side, the dark side brings darkness into the world. You know, no matter how beautiful y'all are. You know? So, just keep our eyes straight. Remember the eyes in the left eye and the eyes that are outside of us are, are the thieves. Jesus is killed between the thieves. Remember? He is killed here. We have to use the word murder. I have to say stole. You know, he was murdered. That's how I say, oh yeah, a bunch of people murdered him. But... Jesus dies on the cross between the two thieves. You know, it's just symbolic writing. And um, in an outside world where that is, is that's between Sagittarius and Capricorn. Right in the middle there in the crux. There, there's a, <coughs> there's a there's the Southern Cross is right between those two things. And that's where, you know, the summer, the winter solstice is. And, and before he can go over to the other side, you know, he's got to sit there for the three days and three nights, you know. That's this the sixth chakra, all right? The sixth chakra is the, is the seat of the soul. That's the seventh church, all right, or the sixth church. Uh, the, se the third church... The solar plexus is the seat of Satan. Can you see they're all in the same churches? They're all on the same line. But if you were to look up pineal gland, you'll look it up and you'll see in the dictionary and it's called the seat of the soul. It's the single eye. So when we walked away from where eating and drinking, you know, and acting all carnival, carnival, you know, or whatever that carnival carnivorous when we successfully killed the self suspending the family you know getting rid of them that takes care of the skin the skin is the solar plexus it's shut down as well all right there's nothing evil about our single eye it is kryptonite to this lower conscious and the effects of it, all right, and then this is the descent into hell, you know, with uh, going into your closet and shutting the door and doing the Lord's prayer as He slowly descends into hell, and take remark to this idea that in the stomach region, you know, give us this day our daily bread. Bread is about thoughts, giving us better thoughts, bringing us over to the right side of the brain, to the right side of the boat, all right. And so you have to understand that, you know, then, it, then the soul comes and sits here, the seat of the soul, all right? But, uh, you know, we come back down again, and, you know, now the devil, even though he's still, you know, part of the consciousness of skin and stuff like that, is now under the control of the right mind, you know? And he doesn't like that, but, you know, that's what he is. He'll, he'll get his reign again, and we'll go up, and we'll sweep that motherfucker right back under the rug, all right? Because we ain't never going to get rid of him. He's necessary. This is the teeter-totter of life. One side or the other. And we're going to look at this as inside or outside, you know? You know? Get in or out! It's what your mom and dad used to yell when you were going in and out of the house with the air conditioner on. In or out! And we always said, oh man, it sure did feel good in, but it's so much fun on the outside. I love you guys. And uh, top of the morning to you.